Hello everyone, this is Mundan Raghavan and today we are going to see the few short prompt template. In previous video we have seen how to call the simple model with a prompt. Just to recover the points that we covered in the last video, we will be having the model which is LLM and we will be just giving our input in the template format. When you format the template, your inputs will be injected inside your prompt then you will be giving the entire text as the output. This text will be called as the entire full prompt. That prompt will be given to the LLM and you will be getting the predicted result or response. So far we have seen the LLM, but there is another category called chart model. Before getting into the templates, we will try to clearly understand what is the difference between this LLM and chart model. LLM is very simple way. You will be giving the text testing input and you'll be getting the text testing output. Whereas chart models will be backed by the language model and it will be getting the list of chart messages as the input and return the chart message. In the future sessions, we might see the chart models, but as of now, we will try to continue with the LLMs. In LLM previous video, we have seen a simple prompt template where we need to give our user input, dynamic user input, so that it will be replaced inside your prompt when you format the prompt. Now we will see what is few short prompt template. Let's get into the code very directly and try to understand further. In simple words, you are giving multiple examples to the model to understand the context so that it will be giving the exact output that you want in the a specific format. Now let's see. Few short prompting using a small amount of data, usually between two to five examples. That's all. Imagine these are the examples. Your question would be something like a dog is and the output might be pet animal. Cat is a pet animal. Tiger is a wild animal. Lion is a wild animal. Next time when you ask some question in the similar category, it will be in the two word answer, which is very specific what kind of animal it is. Without examples, if you go, if you ask something like a lion, then it will tell like lion is the king of a forest and it will have some different habits. It will give the detailed expanded result. But you already have some examples in which you want the output. So now you have seen the examples. Here nothing code, it's just a list of values. In that list, you will be having the set of JSON or let's say set of dictionaries or collection of dictionaries to be precise. Now let's get into the example prompt. Now you are creating the prompt to get the data from the examples. Imagine you have the template here and your template is my question and you'll be getting the question here and a answer you'll be getting the answer from here. Since you mentioned this inside your flower brackets, it will be considered as the input variables. Now I am just calling the example prompt dot format. Then I am calling double asterisk symbol, which means that it will be getting the keyword arguments or dictionary format in Python. Those value will be just injected inside your example prompt. That means that in examples, you are getting the first element, which is dog is and pet animal. This set you are directly getting and giving to the format. Now what would happen? This question and this input variables are same so that your entire my question template will be replaced as my question then dog is because the keyword is question so it will be taking this keyword matching and this value will be replaced here. Same goes to the pet animal it will be replaced under the AA answer. If I execute now let's see the output. Here you go. So you have the same template, but you have taken from the example, the first example. Simple as it is. Now let's go to the second. Few short prompt template. Now we are going to create the few short prompt template. That means that here we are going one level above. Apart from giving the a template and the input values, now we are going to give the examples. So the examples, obviously we have seen what it is and the example prompt. That means that whenever you try to call the examples one of the example it has to be injected inside your example prompt that also we have tested so now we have given the example and we have given the example prompt in which the examples will work 
next one the actual template for the future prompt now you are giving the question as the prompt or template you can say here let's imagine my question follow the same and you will be giving the input now what would happen let's go step by step first of all it will read all your examples let's clear okay fine now each and every example will be injected into your example prompt then this entire output will be the string which will be looking like a chart then after it will be adding at the end as the name suggests it's a suffix it will add at the end my question then over the few short prompt template when you format it whatever the input you are giving that will be added at the end let's see the output how it looks like right click and execute now you have given as a copies now you can see all the examples has been injected into your uh, example prompt then at the end because of few short prompt it is adding the my question then it is adding the input that you have formatted now we are ready with the few short prompt now this prompt can be given to the llm in order to get the llm like we discussed in the last video we already have downloaded one of the gpt4 all model which is arca mini i'm just executing and it will be getting the llm instance then after we are creating the chain instance in chain instance when you create the llm chain you need to give the llm and you need to give the prompt here in last video we have given the a simple prompt template now we are giving the few short prompt template you have given both then it chain will be created now you are running the chain then you are running with cowvis what happens here so now when you chain dot run this cow is will be the input for the chain chain is made of prompt this prompt having one input that input will be filled with cowvis then this entire prompt that what you see in the console here will be given to the llm that we created here then whatever the response you are getting out of the llm will be given as a chain response that you will be seeing in the output as a print statement let's see here i will try to execute after few seconds you got the answer which is a answer colon domestic animal which means cow is domestic animal it has followed all the examples that we have given and it is giving the same response kind of thing even you can see it is giving the answer like a answer because in the examples we have entirely used a answer so this is called the few short prompt template in simple words you are giving some examples based on the examples the llm will try to give the response to you this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in another cloud